You're watching Video Music Box, a Showtime documentary chronicling the longest running music show in the world. Debuts on Showtime December 3rd. The release is part of Showtime's Hip Hop 50, celebrating 50 years of the genre with three documentaries. And I have the absolute honor of speaking with the man himself, MC Ralph McDaniels, the visionary brain and face behind Video Music Box. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited for everyone to see this documentary. I did get a pre-screening of it myself, a little early treat ahead of this interview. And it's hard to know exactly where to start when asking you questions because I feel like we have so much to talk about today. But I guess to initiate this conversation, where did the idea for the documentary originate for you guys? Well, um, you know, Nas is uh, the director and Nas is a guy who I worked with. I directed his first video um, for his for his first album, um, Illmatic. And so it's a 360 in a way of me and Nas, Nas working with each other. And it's a spiritual journey, the documentary of, you know, me growing up as a kid, just into music. You know, one of those kids that was, you know, playing around with my parents, 45 vinyl records and stuff like that. And now, you know, I get the opportunity to work with Nas and put this all together. Everybody thought hip hop was just gonna be a face. No, Ralph carried it on his back like Santa. And so it's the journey of a young guy from Brooklyn and Queens and then gets into the music business and picks up a camera and nobody had a camera that back then. Now everybody has a camera phone and you go to a concert. It's kind of annoying actually when you just see everybody holding their phones up but that's the world that we live in. But back then I was the only guy with a camera and I picked up this camera and I started documenting what was happening around me. And it started in 1983 and, um, and we still presently do it. You know? And I'm so glad that you mentioned Nas right away because for decades you told the stories of so many artists before they were, before the world, I guess, even knew that they were artists. You're an artist yourself. You were a DJ before starting Video Music Box in the 80s. This kind of feels like, though, the first time that we're really hearing your story. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely an untold story, which is cool. I, you know, I, I love documentaries. I watch documentaries on everything, you know, on whales, on whatever. <laughs> and so to find out about something that you probably didn't know about is always interesting to me. So I think that the audience is going to be like, wow, I didn't know this existed. And I didn't know that this show had such an impact on you know, a guy like Nas or Jay-Z or Diddy or whoever, Queen Latifah, all these people that came through the show when they first started and they they were raw, you know, they were they were not polished how they are today. That's especially true for younger generations who have no idea what happened before they even arrived on Earth, right? So it's going to be really interesting for them to see the history um, of this genre. And then also another question, kind of unrelated, but I, I really want to ask you this because it's clear that you've had a fun time kind of reminiscing on some of these memories just from watching the documentary. And I'm sure there are endless libraries of content you produced from the years of success of the show. So in watching some of that footage in the documentary, which was never before seen footage, some of it, what was it like reliving those moments while working on the documentary? Well, you know, when I look back at the footage, it's, it's almost like it was yesterday to me. <laughs> and, you know, and I'm like, wow, I remember that event. Like, I remember what happened when I was going there. I remember what happened that when I was there and when I left, you know, I remember everything about it. And so for me, it's like, you know, I know it, but, you know, let's say my daughter, who's, you know, she's a producer on, she's younger than, you know, she's 35 and she's like, what were y'all guys wearing back then? Like the clothes is what she finds interesting and the dance styles and things like that. So um, it's a it's a different experience for, for people. And I think that it's 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 fun, you know, and it's been a tough two years. And I think that if you're into just feeling good about something, this is a film that'll make you feel good if you were into the music or even if you weren't into the music, you know, it was just a fun time. Ralph, it is clear that TV and music played a tremendous role in your life growing up. And so looking back now, how does it feel seeing the impact you had on culture, on communities for so many people through the medium of TV and music? Um, I feel like, you know, this was like a gift that was given to me, you know, from watching people like, you know, um, Don Cornelius and Soul Train, 
and um, American Bandstand with, you know, Dick Clark, um, all of the different people that came before me presenting music on television. And so I just took a little bit of what those people did and made it, you know, what I was doing. And I never really wanted to be a TV star at all. I just wanted to present music, but, you know, it just kind of came about. And then to watch the impact that we've had on some of the music artists, um, directors, um, producers of music, um, the, the, the general audience in fashion and way people wore clothes and just overall, you know, it's been amazing. Like people have told me that they've, that, that have come from outside of the United States, they learned how to be um, Americanized by watching my show, you know, because they wanted to, you know, when, you know, kids can be tough when you first come to this country from somewhere else, people pick on you maybe because of the way you talk or whatever it is. And people would say they would watch Video Music Box and they would learn how to say certain words so that they felt comfortable within their school when they didn't get picked on. And that was amazing to me to learn things like that from you know some of the, the folks that have watched the show over the years. That's really just one microcosm, I feel like, of your show because it does have that aspect of inclusivity. And that was something that really resonated with people when they first started watching it and obviously has led to so much success for you. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, there's a section in the in the in the film um, where we we're at this thing called the Fresh Fest. And that's when I realized how diverse hip hop was, you know, so you had folks from, you know, from the South Bronx and, you know, and uh, black and Latino, and then you had white folks and you had Asian folks and you had all these different genres, but we were all there for the same thing to, to listen to the artists and to listen to the music. And that brought us all together. And that was really at that particular moment, the first time I had seen that in person, you know, and I was like, this music is really powerful. And that's when I realized it was going to go a long way. I loved hearing you talk about that in the documentary, by the way. And I want to ask you before I let you go, because I've I have a thousand questions I could ask you, but are there any that I haven't asked you that you would like to include or like to talk about? I mean, the thing for me is that, you know, hip hop history is important, just like any other genre of music. Um, you know, in the beginning, it was looked at as a fad. Now it's the number one genre of music, the influences in everything, every commercial, every type of uh, movie, everything that you see, you hear some hip hop music playing in the background. So. Um, the history is important. There's so many people just like me and others that never really got our shot to get out there and tell people our story and the influences that we had when it was, you know, maybe like 500 of us that were just into hip hop. And so I'm glad that um, we're getting the opportunity and getting this content out there and hip hop history is super important. It is super important. And I want to thank you, Ralph, so much. Thank you for your talents. First of all, thank you for sharing them with us, but also thank you again so much for hanging out with me today. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, you're watching Video Music Box. Make sure you watch it. <laughs> the documentary debuts December 3rd, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern on Showtime. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local News.